Hey guys, Mike from Wild Family Travel. So here we are today in Chengdu, China. I'm just going to go for a bit of a walk through the supermarket here and give you some ideas of some of the prices on fruit, vegetables, meat, staples, coffee. Uh, just give you an idea of the price of things in China. Uh, okay, let's get some prices while we're here in uh, China. So we've got 500 grams of bananas for 4.8 yarn, which is about 50 cents Australian. What else have we got over here? Oh, watermelons, not quite sure what price they are. So watermelon is 2.99 per 500 grams, so that's about 70 cents. Well, vegetable wise, got a container of bok choy for 350, which is 75 cents. We've got beans for 420, which is about a dollar ten Australian. Okay, we've got a huge range of noodle cups, uh, ranging from about I'd say $1.75 to $2 Australian. Tomato sauce, nearly $4 Australian. Can to drink, uh, Fanta, Lottie's own brand, anywhere between a dollar and a dollar seventy-five. Uh, biscuit wise, we've got some Australian favourites here. The Fantastic Crackers, they're $17.90, so that's about $3.25. Uh, you probably picked them up for 99 cents in Australia though. Um, little packs of Oreos, about a dollar. Walker's Scotch Bread, about $6. What's over this side? More pre packaged biscuits. So I've got some international beer here, uh, Japanese, looks like some German stuff. Uh, about two dollars or around ten dollars Chinese. Uh, cans drink are cheaper here, so two ninety, so that's about seventy-five cents Australian. Six hundred ml bottles about dollar ten Australian. So big bottles of water. We're looking at eighty cents Australian. Small bottle of water, you're looking at about forty cents Australian. So we've got some big apple and orange juices around the litre mark. They're about uh, $5 Australian or $3.80 depending on what you like. Little ones starting at 8 so it's about $1.75 up to 12 so it's about $2.25. So now we've got some milk. So from what I can tell, I think it's not some milk, it's yoghurt. So there's actually like a tub of yoghurt for $2.25 Australian. You can buy Packs of flavoured yogurt, they're pretty cheap, $7.60. Here's one from home, we've got Devondale. Uh, Devondale's an Australian brand, so they make the long life milk here. So we've got a litre for $12.90, which would be $2.50 in Australia. So it's probably nearly cheaper than what it is in Australia. So lots of milk products. Um, let's go over here and have a look. What else have we got? A good old Spam. Lots of tuna if you're a fish person. 1960, so spams. Uh, $4.50. We've got tin tomatoes. They're $3. Okay, peanut butter for those in the know. You're looking at around $5, $5.50 for some peanut butter. Good quality jam, the same, $5. So, spaghetti sauce. This is dear. We're looking at $8 for a jar of spaghetti sauce. So, that is certainly on the dear end of the market. What else are we looking for? What's more staples here? Plain pasta, so $13.80. So, you're looking at nearly $3. That one's a bit cheaper. That one's $8.60. So, you're looking at nearly $2. Okay, so now we're in the all-important coffee aisle. Uh, look, you can buy these pre-made ones like this where you just add the water to them. And they've already got the milk and coffee in them. Otherwise, we've got some Nescafe gold here. I'd say these are definitely satchels, yeah. So you're looking at about $4 Australian for them. There's not many coffee brands I know, to be honest with you, along here. Uh, Lavazza. So you can buy Lavazza Instant. I think, obviously, you're getting two there. Two for eight dollars Australian, so that's pretty good actually. You can buy the Lavaza for your coffee machine at about fourteen dollars, so that's Western prices for sure. 
Here comes my wife. I don't know what she's buying down in this section. Let's have a look. So we're in the soap aisle here, uh, a few different soaps looking like ranging from about $1 to $2 and even up to $4 Australian here. We've got some Australian goat's milk soap there and some lychee soap. Okay, so if you've got a baby, there's different types of nappies here. I'm not quite sure which ones are good, you know, equivalent to Huggies or anything, but by the looks of it, you're starting at around, what's 200? So that's $40 for this big packet here. Um, and there's obviously cheaper ones at 178, which is about $35. So all in all, the sort of cheapest ones I can see are around 168 of this, this quality. So that's for 54 of them. There's 44 for 109 Chinese, which is about $20. So. These ones look like yeah. <laughs> so in the essential section, so deodorant. Uh, Nivea Roll-On is about $6, that's what we've been using all across Asia. We've got the spray can is about $9. Um, looks like there's some sunscreen there, which is $20 for sunscreen, so pretty dear in this country. What else have we got? We've got some razors, not really disposable ones, Gillette and stuff like that. They're around $18. Okay, let's go and check out. Toothpaste, toothbrushes, around $2. Okay, so I hope that gives you a bit of an idea of the prices in Chengdu, China. This is in a supermarket level, so things could be cheaper and dearer, I guess. They'd be cheaper at a small store, but maybe uh, even dearer again at some other department store. So that's just an average of what you'll pay for some staples and things that you need when you're in China.